All right, so this is an exercise that I learned from Eric Clapton. That's <laughs> not really true. Um, but I understand Eric practices this, this, so I figure if it's okay for him, it's probably okay for everybody. Now, the idea is a bending exercise. So you, you play the interval that you want to hear first. So let's say we want to bend from E to F sharp. Then we choose which finger we want to bend with. We're going to do this with our third finger. We play the note and then bend it to F sharp. So this helps your ear hear where you've got to go. Yeah. So that's one way of doing it. So that's sort of exercise one, if you like. Now there's lots of different types of bends. That's quite a slow one. Sometimes you want just an instant bend. So. Just that. Um, from a mechanical point of view, how I often think about it is see the second string here. We're going to go slightly beyond where the third string normally hits. So if you imagine it, there it is, right? So kind of there. Now each guitar will be slightly different because it'll be, you know, different pressures and stuff. This is a short scale. Fender Jaguar, so it might be different on your guitar. Now the next thing to do is, is uh, kind of ghost bends, I call them ghost bends, where you're, you're starting from the top and coming down. That was the first one was terrible. Okay, and the next one is the, so that was, we did slow, Slow bend up, instant bend up, ghost bend down, and then the wobble at the top, which is a... Hendrix is a big fan of that, you know, wrong key, but... Yeah? So, that's the four bends. You've got the slow, fast, ghost, wobble. And that's how they exercise. And then you just go do it up. The other thing you do, obviously, with different fingers, so... So you have to get used to all of that. So it's a massive exercise, really. And as I say, if Eric still does it, probably all right for the rest of us.